How's it going guys? My name is Jimmy and this is my E46 BMW. So currently we are running into three big issues. Problem number one is gonna be an EVAP line leak. Problem number two, the clock spring sensor behind the steering wheel has gone bad. And problem number three, we're having parasitic loss problems. So one of the first problems I'm running into is gonna be with our EVAP line. So further down around here, we have this EVAP line that connects to the EVAP canister that's way further down. From there, it connects into the, the solenoid, the solenoid for the EVAP. So the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we change this line because as I was doing the engine swap, I saw that on the, the connection on this side is pretty much cracked at the end of the head. So pretty much that's what I'm believing my, I believe that is what's causing my, my EVAP light. Cause I checked the gas cap and it's not the gas cap. So most likely it's gonna be this line. Cause I remember that it was fitting improperly. It wasn't properly like tightening and everything. So this is my first guess at the, pro educated guess at the problem. If from there, we'll move on to different sections of the system. This brings us to problem number two. So I was having a, Another check engine light was related to the clock spring on the on the on the steering wheel. So first things first, we're probably gonna end up having to switch it because I mean we have two options. So we could go into uh, what MS42, go into MS42, see if we could uh, reset the calibration on the clock spring, see if that works. If not, worst case scenario, what we can end up doing is just whoop, take the steering wheel off and pretty much change the clock spring within. And from there, that should eliminate that light. But problem number three, that one's gonna be a little bit more difficult. And this leads us to problem number three. That is parasitic battery drain. So I know the E46s are kind of known for that. Usually the, I've, I've heard things of like the switch in the front causing that. We're gonna end up trying with that, but I believe there's a few greater issues with this car because I believe there was an amp installed in this at one point. See how that goes. But yeah, that's gonna be problem number three. We're gonna have to solve that situation. Uh, it's to the point where my battery did end up dying this. I understand that this say 917, but uh, number one still being that the battery needs to be changed, but I've gone through multiple batteries because of that issue. So I think it might be time to resolve it just so we can be able to pass smog. Because if I can't keep the memory on the car, I'm not gonna be able to do the catalytic converter um, cell light. With all that being said, this is a pretty small introduction of my build for my E46. If you guys like, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. And make sure to leave a comment to let me know that you guys are interested. Thank you.